Hey guys, so um, hope you guys can hear me, but I'm pretty excited about this tutorial. The idea is to take um, U.S. Geological Survey information and um, convert it into a 3D model. And um, you know, normally they only scan like certain segments, so you'd have to piece them together. So, anyways, what you do is you look up national map and you go to the .gov. Uh, there's the 3D elevation, and then you go get data, download elevation products. And now it's going to open up this viewer map. And, um, okay, so I haven't looked around the U.S., but they have Fairbanks, Alaska, so I'm imagining they have a lot of other places. Um, so let's say we want to do downtown Fairbanks. You click this little um, box. You scan the area that you want to look for data for, and then you go find products. And since I only scanned a small area, there's only going to be about six results. And a couple things, if I so these are the uh, information I want to download. You click footprint. Um, you kind of see the footprint of each um, download. So let's say I like this area the best. I click it. I go download LAS. Um, download the file. Now um, we will have to open up um, basically we have to convert that and there are th two other programs you need to convert it. Uh, the first one is 3DEM so 3DEM we're going to open this and all we're doing is we're um, I think by default it's here, but you, you choose LiDAR Point Cloud LAS. And then um, let's say this is the thing I just downloaded. Let's say I searched for it. I open it up and just hit OK default. And you get just this 2D image. Um, all you have to do is you do File, Save USGS, this selection right here. And I'm going to save it to the desktop and label it whatever that coordinate was um, okay so that's all you do there then the next thing I'll have links in the description is Accutrans 3D and you let um, the first thing is free but no longer being updated this one is free for 30 days and it's only twenty dollars once you pay for it so I open that up you go file Okay, so we're going to open our open DEM as we want this USGS one degree. And it was on our desktop. And I label there's our DEM. So we already made one conversion from LAS to DEM. And now we have kind of 3D information. But now you got to do DEM convert to 3D. And I just use default settings, hit OK. And it shows you your height information. You can't fly around it anymore, I don't think. But now you just save as. I like doing .obj, but you can save it as .stl as well. Let's go back to desktop. I'll just save it. And it is saving. I can close out of that. And OK. So in Blender, um, you go file, import, obj, go to the desktop, here's our obj. They're pretty large files. So what, I, what I've been working on is trying to take um, every little footprint and kind of um, put them together. Um, and I'll show you some tips on how to do that. But basically you get a really small square um, area. When you import it, you don't see anything, but that's because it's so big there you start to see it you can um, change your display clipping to like 10,000 but typically what I do is um, I just select it control alt shift C or you can just um, search for if you hit spacebar set search for origin and I would say set origin geometry to origin and now we have this great thing um, to make it look kind of cool, 
Here, I'll move this sun lamp over. I just give it like a, in the world settings, I give it uh, kind of a dark blue sky. I give the sun like a rising sun type thing. We can scale this down to make it clear. And boom, we have height information. Um, couple downsides, there's no texture. Uh, for Alaska this is fine in the winter because it looks like snow kind of and from a distance it looks it looks cool. You could um, use this as a model to 3D to start 3D printing if you solidify it. But um, let me show you what I am working on. It's in my let's see Fairbanks test. Um, so what I do is I took a screenshot. If you go up here and display thumbnails, and I'll hide the footprint or show footprints, display thumbnails. I took basically a screenshot of this, and they each have names. Like this is 90, um, 92. Basically, from um, west to east, it's like a 90, 91, 92, 93, and um, so with my screenshot, um, I put it as a background image, and so then I can start lining up my grid. So I've downloaded quite a few, and um, I just label them. Uh, I download a bunch of them label them. Okay, where's my background image? There we go. Where's my grease pencil? It's right there. So um, I think these are the 50s, the 90s, the 120s, and uh, when you bring them in, I scale them down by the same amount, and then I just like line them up, and they, they come out pretty good. Um, here's what this model's looking like so far. Oh yeah, and this, like, I have like seven or eight in there, and it's already up to 3,000. Oh, and um, the material I have on it is right here. I take the position, I separate X, Y, Z, um, I add a little, give it a color ramp and make it an emission. And why would you want to do that? Um, because then... I can combine four different maps and I have height information and I can use this as a displacement map later so the whites are the highest, the blacks are the lowest and yeah, that's it.